Hello everybody. Today we're looking at a complete orchestral library which costs less than $100. We're going to be writing a little uh, trailer track. It's Audio Imperia's Nucleus Light, and we'll also be going on and looking at what you get in the full version, which is $400 and something dollars. But anyway, first of all, let's get cracking with the $100 version. Just before I start, I should say thank you to Joe V, who left a comment under one of the previous videos, suggesting a drinking game that every time I throw my arms in the air like this, everybody needs a drink. Now, of course, I believe everybody should be drinking responsibly. So we'll just have to watch how many times I feel obliged to throw my arms in the air. Right, let's get going. So what is this $100 library of which you speak, Guy? I will tell you. Uh, no, <laughs> no, no, don't. You, you'll all be drunk before you get halfway through. They, it's called Nucleus and it's from Audio Imperia. And they do a $100 version, which is this, which you get ensemble ver uh, versions of strings, woodwind, brass, percussion, and choir, and that's quite unusual. And you get uh, short and long of each ensemble, plus some percussion, plus the short and longs of the choir. So there's more than enough there to do some proper work, and that's what we're gonna be having a look at. If you go for the full version, and we'll be looking at that uh, briefly today, but also we'll come back to it at some point in the future, um, it's uh, $449, and you get uh, all the sections, all the uh, individual instruments and the choir, and you get some soloists, solo trumpet, legato, solo horn. You're getting a lot for your money. You're getting a lot for your money at that price point. So we're going to concentrate today on the freebie because I thought that might be quite fun. See how far we can get. They also offer a couple of freebie downloads, one called Epic Trailer Sounds. That kind of thing. Yeah, okay, you've heard that before. <laughs> Sorry, that must have been my stomach. No! Oh, the sun, the sun! It is. Oh, I didn't mean to put my hands in yet. The sun, the sun! It's kind of a bit blary today. But I can't complain about sunshine, though. I really, really can't. Right, now, what's this trailer track going to sound like? I don't usually do this, but let me just, before we start writing this, I'm just going to play you the finished article. In 60 minutes' time, I will have written this with a $99 sample library. So stick with me and I'll show you uh, how I wrote that quasi trailer track using Audio Imperia's Nucleus Light. Let's get going. It's not going to sound like 120 beats a minute. I don't like 120 beats a minute. I've gone off 120 beats a minute. I'm going to come up with something really radical like 125. Right, let's go for 130. There we go. Okay, small point. A number of people say, how do you sometimes get your um, bar numbers in Cubase to start at uh, one further on? If you go into, it's very simple, uh, non cube just bear with me, project settings, uh, display bar offset, set it for plus five, click OK, and there mysteriously, now it's moved. So bar one is up there. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, doom. Now, let's have a look at Nucleus. This is the full version. Um, you get multi-patch or single patches and sound design and all that kind of thing. Um, if we go into the full ensembles, which is what you get on the free version, 
Here we go. Let's start with the strings one. Now, um, it's a... You get longs and shorts. Now, this, uh, you get the built-in... Uh, this new algorithmic reverb with contact is really, really good. That's the dry sound, which is a nice sound, actually. It's a good room sound. And then you want to add the algorithmic reverb in. Important things. If you go onto the advanced tab, there's a lot of stuff you need to know. Now, um, the, where is it? Start time. Now, when I first played it, I thought, oh, that's a bit odd. It, it's a bit slow. It's a bit like playing the organ. The reason being that they've included the little bit of the sample which goes whoo, into the thing, which is a really good thing. But when you're first playing it, it's slightly off-putting. So you either load what they call the tight sample, which is the one down there, or you just stick the sample start to 0 milliseconds. Then the idea is when you actually come to bounce the whole thing out, you shuffle all the samples early, a tiny, you know, like however many samples you want, 125 early, and then you do the offset on there, and then it remains in time, but you get the start. It's a very clever idea. Um, this is another t thing I really like. One of the things which I, annoys me is you don't get, in most sample libraries, you don't get any control over the actual, the difference between the quietest sample and the loudest sample, and uh, they all tend to sound quite... Now, with this dynamic range thing here, if you turn it up, it it sort of it, it quietly um, um, turns down some of the lower samples, so you get a much more realistic dynamic range on the instrument. That is good. So what I've done, I'm going through setting all these um, these samples to a dynamic range of sort of fifty-ish, and I'm having a, a a fast start on all of them in the. Um, a uh, $99 um, dollar version, you don't get pizzicato or tremolando, but <laughs> what are you complaining about? It's $99. I mean, $99. If you went out for a pizza with a couple of your kids, it would cost you $99. Scusi, per i miei ospiti italiani, è davvero, è possibile in Inghilterra e Stati Uniti pagare... Uh, 20, 30 euri per un uh, pizza. Incredibile, ma vero. Uh, e la qualità è mica male. Ma, anyway, um, so let's move on and do uh, some writing now. <gasps> Did I mention that we make a course called how to write music, and here are one or two details for you. If you want to write better music, better tunes, more interesting chord progressions, and fully develop your ideas, then check out my online course, How to Write Music. Six hours of video tutorials, free downloads, a supportive online community, and a comprehensive course text. Take your music to the next level with How to Write Music. God, it's so good, I'm going to buy it. Why not do something different, guys? Not loving it. Start again. There's no point in starting with an idea which you're not actually convinced by. Unless I do a sort of heart of heart of oak, I mean whatever the heart of courage thing. or something. Okay, that's an approach. So what we're doing is going G minor, first inversion of F, B flat, E flat, G minor, 
D. It may change. It may change. But I just thought we'd walk that through while, while I remember it. So what's going to go with it? I could add a second MIDI track, which is going to be called low string, um, and set it to the same MIDI channel. So it's coming from the same thing, but it's a separate MIDI track. So they're both controlling the same thing, but I'm just separating out the low strings. See if this works. Yes, it sort of does. Oh, that is so loud! That is so loud! Uh, I need to go in here. Dynamic range. happens if I add a bit of this in. Too much. You've, you've got to be really careful um, of throwing too many of your toys in right at the start because otherwise if you just have all your ideas and then roll them out there's no sense of development. So we're going to and we get some gong here some I'm going to put this another one, create another um, MIDI track, uh, call it Gong. It's on channel two, so we go to channel one. There we go. Then pitch it down. Don't want it that loud. Actually, there's an easy way of doing this. Uh, go in there and just turn it down as low as it goes and drag it out for two weak bars. And we'll do the same with our friend here because we want it. If you want a drum to sound big, play at the turned up loud, but play very softly. Okay, now now we're going to bounce this out to audio um, because I might might want to uh, pitch shift it down, and it's e much easier to do like this and make sure that's dragged out properly light waves with the gong so we render in place now what I'm going to do is go in here and when you pitch things down whatever system you're working on oh, where's processes there we go uh, you will almost definitely get this opportunity to whether or not to time correct if you're going to pitch something I will unless it's really vital that it's rhythmic and stays in time, I would almost always turn that off because um, you're not actually losing quality. All it's going to do is make it longer. So, for example, if we take it down a fifth, let's see how that works. Okay. Uh, auto apply. See, that's I like that. There, that's much better. Let's do the same for our friend here. Uh, the bass drum as well. So it's going to be lower and duller, and actually duller is one of the things I was looking at. The, the bass drum in particular was coming out a bit uh, bright. There we go. So now we miss, move these back. <laughs> OK. 
Okay, that'll do. Um, now we might want a subtle little reverse into both of those. Duplicate. Go duplicate. Now, run it backwards. Now, with running backwards things, um, broadly speaking, uh, what I tend to do uh, is to chop the front off. You don't actually want the very the transient at the beginning because you go, that bit. You just want it to go. Whoosh. So you put a little fade on the out, and then you just cross fade it a bit so it'll go like that. Can live with that. I think now we start some low or whatever. Okay. Now, actually, a useful thing, um, which, where's Nudge? Where's Nudge gone? Nudge palette. Okay. Things like this. If you want to, you've quantized them, and they don't quite work, so you use Nudge. They all, every uh, major uh, sequencer has this. So where you see a whole sequence, which has got about one, one thing out, it's much the quickest way of tidying it up once you've um, uh, quantized it, is to just nudge the little notes back and forward like this until you're quite happy with where they are. Now, this is going to sound a bit mechanical, but it's an ostinato, and that's the idea. I mean, we can... Shall we, ladies and gentlemen, ah, the light, the light. Shall we, ladies and gentlemen, see what we have in Epic Trailer Sounds? This is free. This is another thing. You, you can get it from um, Audio Imperia, and it's a freebie. So you... Oh, have I got them the wrong way around? Yes, I have. How silly of me. Okay, so what have we got? <laughs> Sounds like somebody just shot my granny. Hang on. I'll turn it down a bit. Well, it... Why am I surprised that something which calls itself epic trailer sounds is epic and trailerish? I'm not surprised. Oh. Hmm. This is definitely what we're coming up with. I don't need to do it twice. We're going to bounce him out as well. Um, so that one can bounce out. This, I'm a big fan of bouncing out, as you can tell. Today in particular, I like feeling... Uh, do, 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 do. So it's down a fifth again. If we want now... Because I actually wanted in time. Uh, let's do that. Okay, that'll do. Right, now, this next section, trailers fall into... Uh, the, there's a very old-fashioned... Well, it's not old-fashioned. The actual structure of trailers is... This is a very old-fashioned sounding trailer track. If it is a trailer track at all. Uh, because... Most trailer tracks sound completely different to the way people think they do now. Uh, they're mostly uh, 
trailerized versions of pop songs. Now, what we're going to do in here is this is always a revelation to people. This step time thing. <clears throat> okay, so you go into the grid editor, and again, you can do this in Logic. You can do this in almost anything. Um, what this does is it puts it in one note at a time when you play it. Okay, do you see that? So as you play it, so it goes in. It couldn't be more simple. Uh, so where do I actually want this to start? Let's, I want it to start on bar 17, okay. Oh, it's all over the shop. Do you see the advantage? It sounds like I'm a genius. It sounds like a play like Mozart. I don't. You can drop in markers. Markers is quite useful for this, actually, that you can just go shtuk, and you drop in a, a marker which shows you where you change a chord. So let's try that. Okay. Now we reveal in all its glory the marker track. Add the marker track. Where's the marker track? Marker track. Ching. Add track. Chunk. There they are. Good. Right, so now we've got a marker track to show me where to change key. A change chord. So now we go back to the strings and we bring it up. Okay, so we're going to go from bar 17. Now, let's give this a go. We're going in 16th, so we're going to go in in... Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to... Okay, now, I, I need to remind you, this is a hundred dollar orchestra. You know, this is not thousands of dollars. This is a hundred dollar orchestra um, and a couple of free sounds. And it's sounding pretty good. Um, <clears throat> we've added a few more elements to this now. And so we're going to jump back into it rather than you watching me sit there going, no, don't know what to do. I thought I'd just kind of get some of that done and then move on. So here's where we are. Let's now get some more stuff in here. Um, I quite like these things. I think we want to use those more. What else have we got in these, um, these freebie thing here? Where is it? that as a little riser or something hang on uh, render in place with kind of settings um. yeah so bounce it to a separate audio file make it rise a bit then we're going to bring the volume up a bit uh, processes Too loud. Why did I normalize it? I would have been better off not normalizing it. The other thing we might do, we could put a pitch fade on this. This hit, um, go pitch, envelope, reset, have it go down that by, I don't know, something like that. Time correction? No. Nope. Let's see what happens. That's better. I like that better. Definitely like that better. Okay, this coming in thing is all right, but I'm wondering another thought. Maybe we put a little choppy thing on it. Uh, let's. I'm only going to use built-in stuff. I'm not going to use uh, uh, anything clever. Sync. Yeah, quite like that. I think this is going okay. 
again, since you were with us before, we've done a bit of fast forwarding, fast forwarding, etc. And now we've got something which is getting much more like uh, the finished article. Not quite there yet, but very nearly. Okay, that's not working, that boo thing. It's, it's just not that tr kind of track, is it? Oh! Too big for We don't want that big one until the very end. We're going to go with that one. big something into that big something um uh, room. okay let's bounce him out because he's a bit out of control what i could do with this is a wow Tell you what I could do. What I could do, cheeky, I know, but possible, is to, okay, take a note of that synth, bounce it out. Okay, now I'm going to put it into a sampler track so I can play it. Where's my sampler track gone? There it is. Synth. So I've got something. I can create a synth out of a single note. So deconstructed. There we go. Now we go down and we go drag and drop. Okay, let's take the... Tuny, 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 meter. Start on C. Come on. What's it giving me? It's going to sound all right.
Nearly there. Um, it's been going on quite a long time now. Well, an hour. And so, it is done. It is finished. Um, as far as it's going to be finished. Uh, now, it's taken an hour, uh, and the library, everything you hear here, other than Cubase itself, costs $100. Uh, it speaks for itself, really. I mean, I, this is outstanding value. These are real quality samples for very, very, very little. We haven't had a chance to go into the full version of Nucleus, but we certainly will. In I'll use it in a future um, uh, blog video. Um, but really, if you're looking to start out and you just want to spend a little bit of money to find out how it goes, you can't go far wrong. And you can upgrade grade from the 99 version to the 400 and something um, dollar version. But let's just have a listen to the uh, sort of finished version, so to speak. It's not particularly well mixed yet, but it gives you an idea of what you can achieve with this in 60 minutes. There you go. Hope you've enjoyed that. Hope you found that useful. And um, if you did, obviously, you know what to do. Subscribe and then we'll meet again when I do something else like this. Um, so, yeah, that's uh, I mean, it's been fun. I enjoyed doing that. And we'll come back and do some more very like this at some point in the near future. So thank you for your company. And uh, Joe V out there, who's hopefully still playing the drinking game. No, he's probably lying on his back by now. Goodbye. <laughs>